Hello and welcome to a Let's Play of Civilization VI as the Maya. We're going to be playing on Deity with Secret Societies on. The trend has been to go for Apocalypse mode here, but I'm, I'm going to play with that off and go with Secret Societies instead. Everything else is normal. Let's go ahead and go. I've had the chance to play with Maya. I don't think they're a very strong early game Civ. I mean, I haven't even gotten the chance to take them late into the game because the early game is so um, treacherous. The, um, the Observatory, the unique... Uh, district doesn't give you any bonus whatsoever until you get builders on the ground and start improving things. And yes, farms are, are good, um, but you don't get the housing until you get those farms. So you have to prioritize builders when in a uh, place in the game where I don't really want to prioritize builders. If I do prioritize builders, I would rather use them for chops instead of trying to put down farms. But I have to for the housing. I have to for my observatories. So overall, I just don't think it's a very good sieve in the early game. Yes, the archer is really, really good. But uh, it, it takes a while to get online. And so I think that maybe the uh, Hermetic Order is a good society to go for with this Civ because it gives you uh, more chances for adjacency on these um, observatories. This one actually looks pretty good. Uh, I've got good tiles to work in the first ring, uh, at least a couple production tiles. I could buy that tile right there. And then uh, put an observatory right here. Let's see, one, two, there's probably another city right there. I, th I think this is going to be a good one. Let's little here. Uh, I'm going to work the 2 2 tile instead, just to grow a little bit slower. And I'm going to go for a scout. The reason I'm going for a scout is I want to be part of the Hermetic Order, so I need to find a wonder as soon as I can. I mean, I'm going to tech towards archers qu as quick as I can because that is uh, important to defending myself against the AI. One good thing about the, the Maya is that they naturally tend toward a heavy gold style, and gold can be good. Uh, that also makes them um, a little bit better with Owls of Minerva. Okay, there's uh, Owls of Minerva and the governor's screen. Okay, we can continue. There's Nazca. I think I'll probably get Pingala because J Pingala is just so strong. Especially if you get if you get two of those joints, like from a, a goody hut or something like that, or another natural wonder, you can immediately get Pingala culture. Oh, there's a goody hut. Maybe we'll join the void singers there. I'm gonna grab another scout just to try and find those wonders because I need to join the Hermetic Order if I'm gonna um, get the strategy that I want this game. If I don't get the Hermetic Order, then I might actually join uh, the Owls of Minerva. Because that extra economic policy is pretty good. There's the Void Singers. There's two titles. So what I'll do is I'll immediately appoint Pingala to the capital. And I will go ahead and grab the um, Connoisseur promotion. And then if I don't get... Uh, I'm getting two faith per turn from that. That's good. So I get a free Pantheon. What was I saying? If I don't get the uh, society that I want, then I'll double back for the Owls later. There's China. We want to immediately send them a delegation. Let's see, delegation here. And I'll leave it to you to do the geometry for this, but I'm gonna go ahead and say six tiles out on, right on this Mercury is the strongest settle. And then this one right here. So I wanna try and forward settle China. Let's see if he has all of the cities down. He only has one city down, so he might actually come interfere with this settle. If he comes forward to settle me. And then, let's see, one, two... This might actually be a game where we have a lot of our cities within six tiles. Because we get the... To be specific, we get the bonus for 10% uh, to all yields if you're within six tiles of the capital. So, uh, there's six tiles, there's three tiles, and there's six tiles. And these... None of these cities block each other. They're as close as they can be without blocking each other. So... A lot of times you'll find natural terrain blocks uh, city settlements. Like Nazca, for example, is going to block this city. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, Nazca blocks this city, which means I can I have more wiggle room with these because I know I'm going to have to shed off one city. So I have more room on figuring out exactly which tiles to settle. I'm going to go ahead and put some time towards archery just to defend myself against China. I might actually go conquer China. If he, uh, sorry, it's just a forward settle me. There's a barbarian camp, so I'm going to move my warrior towards that camp. I'm going to rely on Nazca to help deal with that threat as well. And I think I'm going to go for a monument here, and then we'll grab a settler. Well, actually, I guess it's settler time. Because I've got the free monument from Pingala. 
We got a flood, which improves our yields. That's good. Okay, we're about to get scouted by another barbarian. That's not so great. Let's see what's over here. And unfortunately, another city has gotten taken over by mountains. So we can settle another city somewhere in here, but it does uh, interfere with, say, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, this city right here. Come on, attack. There we go. Given that that city is in the desert, I might not want to settle it anyway. We'll have to see what tiles are in the area, but shall do with this scout. There's Code of Laws. Oh, we got a free recon unit. Excellent. In case you didn't know, the way Secret Societies works is um, the first... Sorry, uh, once they extend their invitation to a sieve, they are less likely to extend that invitation to future sieves. So that's why finding a natural wonder first is really, really important because there's a 100% chance of the Hermetic Order extending an invitation towards you if you... Uh... Let's see. Discipline here, God King. I like that spread uh, just to get my Pantheon a little bit faster because I might get a free settler out of it. Nazca is giving me one faith in the capital. That's one of, part of the changes for the envoys. Um, you only get one faith at the beginning of the game rather than two, which is okay, but it just makes me want to run God King more. I think we'll go for foreign trade just so I can get to colonization faster. I want to try and prevent an unhappy relationship with China. Let's actually see what he's like. He has minus eight on me, so he might denounce me at any time. I'm going to just work towards... Um, yeah, I, I like this plan. And we've gotten zoned out of the camp here. That's not good. So I should have moved to that tile. But well, let's, let's skip one turn and see if they will uh, move around and to the point that I can... There's another camp. Maybe take that. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six... I had a thought that I was trying to finish. Oh, yeah, you have a 100% chance of trying to join, or of joining the Hermetic Order if you find the first Natural Wonder. But then after that, every successive Civ gets a reduced chance of joining the Hermetic Order when they find a Natural Wonder. Okay, so this city could go right here. And then one, two, three, four, five. So there's probably two cities in this in this area if I cut them up, but there's not three. Let's see, is Nazca within six tiles of me? No. I think Nazca might actually... Uh, no, I don't think it'll cut off that one. Three, six. Just planning out my city centers. Okay. Lisbon is worth plus one gold. That's not so great. I think we'll just keep our envoy. Oh, we might actually get the clear on that camp if we play our cards right. Actually, that uh, that warrior's going to die. I'll see what I can do. But I need to try and find a wonder, which is why I'm like sending them out. Uh, that's a major defeat, so let's just sit there and fortify for a sec. Yeah, we're not going to get around to that camp. We're not going to get a clear. Unfortunately. Oh well, you can't always get everything you want. There's archery almost finished. I don't think I'm going to produce a slinger, so I might as well go ahead and uh, work towards that. Observatories are not a high priority because getting them down early doesn't really matter for this sim very much. Granaries are a high priority because they give you the extra housing though, so I'm going to go ahead and go towards pottery. There's another goodie hut. Okay, so we, we can actually get the clear on this camp. And we got another governor title. Excellent. Okay. I'm not going to use that governor title just yet. And there's Spain. Uh-oh. Where is Spain? Oh, he's below Nazca. I'm going to try and go for a peaceful game this time. We'll see about that. Who got the promotion? I think the scout got this promotion. Yeah. So let's go ahead and take uh, hills. We'll see if we can get this kill on this scout. Oops, I just bumped my mic.
We didn't get the kill there. We didn't find a natural wonder. I think this might just be a reroll for me. Oops, killed that scout. I'm not afraid to admit that I reroll sometimes. So let's see, I think that maybe I should settle something right here. Because water doesn't matter at all to me. What matters is getting as many cities as possible. So that zones another city. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. Or something like right there. And then one, two, three. F anything in this area. One, two, three. I think it's right there because it because Nazca is blocking it otherwise. So there's three, six, seven, eight. This is actually one of the better Maya games that I've gotten. I wonder if I can rock the owls this time. I was really hoping to play a Hermetic Order game because I've played with every Secret Society except the Hermetic Order, and I was like, who, who would be good for Hermetic Order? And I thought Maya because we need that extra. Uh, standard adjacency bonus on our observatory. And let's see, we're close to our pantheon, but we haven't gotten it yet, so I think I'm going to switch away from God King. By the way, if you are interested, that is a mod that reminds me to change my policies, and there's a mod that is also um, preventing me from uh, using raw culture into the boosts. Let me just show you the mods that I run really quick. None of them are uh, actually gameplay affecting. They are all cosmetic and user interface. There you go. There's our Pantheon. Did we get the Free Settler? We did not get the Free Settler. It seems like really, really difficult to get the Free Settler now because it's only turn... Well, I guess it is turn 23. Maybe I've been noticing uh, that lack of plus one faith in the early game from like getting a meet on Nazca, for example. Usually if I get a meet on Nazca or a holy city state, I get plus two faith and then I get my Pantheon twice as fast. Yeah, so I, I think that's probably what I'm noticing. What about Lady of the Reeds and Marshes? Do I have a lot of marshes? No, I have floodplains. Maybe plus one culture from plantations because I have a lot of plantation territory here. My only regret is that this city is right here. I might be able to, to re-kajigger that with the fact that one of my cities on this side of the empire is not there. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six. We can settle a city right there. Technically speaking. Right, one, two, three, four, five, six, yep. Which means I guess that we have to settle a city, you know, which means we have to settle that. There's a marsh there. Yeah, I think there's just a... Not many plantations. Not many. There's two observatories there. That would be plus four. One there. Or maybe like right there. Oh well. Uh, I think I'll... Well... I was going to say, I think I'll just wait and see, but then I revealed much more of the map. If that is a plantation, then we're actually set. Because that's a plus four observatory. There's a good observatory in this city, then. These are two. There's one. It's one thing about the Maya, is that I feel like a lot of your decisions are already made for you. Let's take plus one culture from plantations. I don't see anything else that's really, really strong. Like going a faith economy could be good if we went for void singers, but I think I'd rather take the culture from plantations. Because if I go for owls, which it's looking like I might have to do, then plus one culture from plantations and then culture from the unique bank equal to the adjacency of our commercial hubs, that could be pretty good. It could uh, avoid us having to build a lot of theater squares. There's another Barbarian camp.
And I think I will try and uh, forward settle China. I'll send my settler naked. Go next to that volcano. Just because I want to get the uh, majority of my cities down. I think I'll grab a trader really quick. Let's just automate your exploration. I don't want to think about this anymore. And for you... Oh, there's a wonder. Okay, did we get the meat? We did get the meat on the secret society that we wanted. So I think that I'm going to try for the Hermetic Order this time. Especially because that'll reveal ley lines. So now we have ley lines. Where are they? There's a ley line there. Oh gosh, I sure hope you can build a district on a ley line because that's the absolute worst place it could have been because it's one of my stronger observatories. That makes observatories there. Ugh. Overall, not a fan of these ley lines. Okay, so now he's upset with me because I'm a different society. If I had gone for Void Singers, then I would have helped him or made him happy, but I'm not going to be doing that. There was no world in which I went for Void Singers. I sure hope you can build a district on a ley line. Because I will quash that ley line for this district. Right, they're two plus fours. And just getting a plus four observatory really early is good. Let's think about what else could go here. Because this observatory is probably going to go here. Because it's a plus three observatory once I get that. And actually, let's call this city... Well, it'll have a name in a, in a quick second here, but let's call this one Bravo and this one Charlie. So this could be one, two, three. This could be Charlie's observatory. Bravo's observatory could be, actually any of these really could be, this is only a plus two observatory. So one of them will have a plus four somewhere in here. That might be this city's. This city will probably buddy up with the capital right here. So let's say this one is uh, Delta. This is Delta. Walk. Because that could be... This will have farms around it. That could be pretty strong, right? This is a plus three. This is a plus three. The thing is, you really don't want them to be right next to each other, but sometimes you can't help it. Okay, if I stop whining for a second and figure out where else these could go... This could be a plus three for this city. Right? Doing Just doing a lot of city planning right here, which is uh, sometimes fun to watch. I'm going to call this one Fox. Thank you, call center job, for teaching me the NATO alphabet. Because, like, I don't, I just don't like seeing E, F, G, because, like, just being able to glance at words and differentiate them is, is pretty good. Let's see. I guess that this one just doesn't have a good observatory that I can see. Maybe in the fog, I'll, I'll figure out another good spot for it. Let's see, one, two. But then that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten cities. This one will have minus 14 loyalty, so I'll need to promote a governor and uh, use that governor to stabilize it. I'll probably grab Victor. Leon would be another strong choice because I need to build builders this game. But now I need to think about, let's see. I think every city has a good observatory. This one has this one right here that's a plus three. This one doesn't have a good observatory because it's in the middle of the desert. Do I want to just peel off this city? It's not going to be good for anything, really. There's no ley lines. I guess it could get a commercial hub. 
One thing about this land is that it is floodplain. So if I aqueduct here, and then I dam here, which river am I damming here? I think I've got multiple rivers to dam. This is the Hondo River. This is the Hondo. Also the Hondo. This one is the Chicksoy. Let's see if I put an industrial zone here in the capital. That's just two away from the capital. It affects everything except for, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, that's six away. And this one, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, no. But I think everything else is in, in range of this industrial zone. One, two, three, four, five, six. Not that one. I think I'm going to peel off that city. I just won't need it to win. So yeah, this industrial zone hitting everything except for two parts of my empire. That's probably worth it. And then maybe maybe I just put another industrial zone like right here to touch these two cities if I want. Probably not though. It's really more of a gold economy. Most of these cities have decent production once I get to, um, what is it, mercantilism I think that gives me the rainforest lumber mills? Guilds, no, mercantilism. Lumber mills can be built on rainforests. Yeah. So I might need to beeline mercant or yeah, mercantilism just to get some of these lumber mills online. We will want to go for craftsmanship or um, construction to get some lumber mills because we're going to have pretty bad production otherwise. What tiles are you working? You're working the spices. I guess that's okay. All right. So um, fun city planning aside. He just announced us. We're not we don't have any slingers. Let's go ahead and go for archery. Because we're gonna forward settle him. And now I'm thinking about maybe settling a couple more cities out of range just to get some more. Because like there is a plant there's there's a plus four observatory right here with the ley lines. Even though minus 15% production on everything in that city would be bad. It's uh it's worth it. Just to get an extra city. This city is a, definitely a gambit. Minus 15 loyalty now. I think I might just settle this city really quick and focus on... Yeah, we'll just settle, settle this city right here. I can't forward settle him with minus 15% loyalty if I'm not going to settle another city right after that. A free settler would have been nice for my Pantheon. But getting that extra little bit of culture would be good too. I'm not going to get the boost on Early Empire. I want to get colonization and get these settlers down. Let's see. This unit needs orders. Let's go see what... Oh, there's another ley line right here. One thing about ley lines is they do give adjacency for other district types. Like, I could put a commercial hub here. That'd be a plus three hub. I'm going to settle this city first. Just because it has good tiles. Starts getting loyalty pressure in the area. Grow the city fast. We might settle that one next. Uh-oh. Rip Scout. Run away. Hmm. How can I get a Pyramids? If I settle this city fast and then put it right there, I could build the pyramids with this production. Especially if I get construction and then I can chop a couple rainforests. Because this city will have a mine. I think I might settle this city next and then this one. So where, where we want, let's settle. And I want to go ahead and start producing a granary because I need housing to grow this city. Uh, that's one thing about audience chamber for the further Maya. Audience chamber can be good in helping you delay those farms a little bit. Because right now we're we're basically growth capped at the capital. Now that I'm thinking about the spices is not the right thing to work because I need more production. I can't grow my city because it's at a, its housing limit. We have another governor appointment. I think I'll keep it in my back pocket for a moment. 
Okay, he's going to try and settle over here. There's a flood, uh oh. He's gonna probably settle in a way that zones out this city. I can only just hope that he won't. So let me try and zone him out. Like maybe he'll go settle right there. If he settles right there, then that's that's fine. Although that is a really nice city. I wish I could have it myself. Okay, it's time to produce another settler out of the capital. Let's trade with China to try and prevent a war. As a matter of fact, like I'm not super worried about Spain because I'm not close to him yet, but I will want to work on repairing that relationship eventually. Okay, let's look at the settler lens. He's probably going to peel off this city from my empire, and that's okay. Maybe I'll just settle west a little bit. Because there are, there are a couple good cities in here. Maybe one right here. And then one down here somewhere. Let's see, one, two, three. I keep thinking about the mountains as if they provide a bonus to the observatory, but they do not. Oh well, well, I'll think about that in a minute. For now, let's go ahead and uh, see if I can micro this scout just life back into existence. There's archery complete. So now I can uh, spend a little time on the archers. And I think it's time to uh, grab some time on irrigation so we can get some of these plantations. I'm going to prioritize the plantations over the observatories. Like getting the observatories down and on the map would be good, but... Uh, what I really need is the plantations, because the observatories don't do anything for me without the plantations until I build a library in them. And I don't have any um, scientific city-states. Okay, he's settling across the river. That's great. Let's take a look at the loyalty situation. We are reducing the uh, loyalty penalty of that tile with Calic Mole. I think I'll settle Charlie next, and then that in that city. Can't wait till the colonization card. I think I'll just keep him here. If you plop right there, you're you're gonna make me happy, buddy. All right, I think we'll grab early empire and then we will uh, call it there. There's early empire. I think that's a good natural break point so I can start getting some more settlers out of my capital really quickly. Uh, thank you much, or thank you very much for watching my content. If you like this content, please be sure to subscribe to the channel for future updates. And uh, don't forget to like this video. It really helps out with uh, discoverability and making sure that people see my content and uh, gets to more people. So thank you very much, and I will see you in the next episode.